so do I. But if I don't talk about that, she had a baby by some creep she wasn't married to. And the night she told you about it, you keep You keep you coming back to that. Well, I keep trying, but you keep walking away from it. I thought that... I thought maybe now that she's given up the baby that it wouldn't matter to me anymore. How does it matter to you? You know how I felt that night? It's not unusual to be jealous, Pete. It's rough on you, something you need to understand better, but it's not unusual. Maybe I shouldn't care about what she did or who she was with before she met me, but I do. You know, you seem to talk about Sheila as though she were a piece of property. How do you mean? Well, you tend to deal with her as though she were an object, as if women came in two types, like cars, new and used. He may not even go through with it, Tom. Yeah, well, if he does, if he calls, I should go and meet him with armed men. Well, that could blow everything. Matt, the man's a potential killer. What if he decides he doesn't like the way you look, pulls his gun and starts shooting? That's possible. Well, then how can you even consider it? In order to get to Charlie, we've got to understand him. To get to Charlie, I have to capture him, and that's going to take force. Men and weapons, not words. Tom, you've had men, you've had weapons. Now, Charlie or somebody is still out there shooting people. Yeah, well, Charlie or somebody has shot one woman. That's all we know for sure. Look, even if Charlie isn't the sniper, I mean, a woman's already been shot. Now, if you try to grab him and miss, who knows how many there'll be tomorrow? Matt, I know you mean well. Hello. Hold on. Put it through. Charlie? Dr. Lincoln? Yes? Uh, I've been thinking about what we talked about. You mean our meeting? Yeah, I thought of a place. Where, Charlie? The city zoo. That's fine with me. What part? The Memorial Drive gate. Okay. You come alone? I mean, you won't bring any police? If that's what you want. How do I know I can trust you? Well, how do I know I can trust you? You have my word. Yeah, but you've shot several people, Charlie. I'm a little uptight about that. I mean, you might decide to shoot me. I won't. If you come alone. Will you come without your gun? Well, I don't know if I can trust you that much. Well, I trust you enough not to come with the police. Okay, then. We have a deal. Yeah. I'll see you in half an hour. I'll see you there, Charlie. I'll get some men. He's not bringing a gun. I'm going alone. <laughs> you really believe that he won't bring his gun? Tom, we made a deal. I've got to keep my part of it. Well, how do, how do you know that he feels the same way? I don't. And you really think that you're going to talk him into giving himself up? I think I'm going to see Charlie. Now, I've got to play the rest by ear. Uh, Chief, would you uh, talk some sense to him? Tom, we're closer to getting Charlie than we've ever been. I'm going to go with Matt's plan. Will you at least take a gun? No. Why? Will you answer me what? Never mind. I know what you're going to say. Good. We're making progress. You'll hear from me. Pardon me, Chief, but I think you're crazy for letting him go. No, I don't think so. Besides, we don't know if Charlie's for real or just some nut who likes to make calls. He shot that woman. Well, maybe. We still don't know if Charlie's the sniper we're after.
It just blew up in our faces. What? Our sniper. Teletype just came through. Our suspect is admitted to 16 other crimes in various cities. Confessing's a hobby with him. Oh, boy. This is Samus. Give me some cars, huh? What are you going to do? Chief, this is for sure now. Matt is meeting the sniper, the real thing. Yes, but we told Matt. We, we promised him. Chief, Chief, if Matt winds up dead, well, we can't take the risk. All right, but don't move in unless you have to. Over here. Dr. Lincoln? Yes, I'm Dr. Lincoln. Can you lower the light, Charlie? Did you come alone? Yes. You said you wanted to talk, Charlie. I'm a good listener. I'm very lonely. What'd you say, Charlie? I'm very lonely. Well, that can be rough. Sometimes people smile at me, and that's good. But most people are unkind, and some I've had to punish. Had to? Yes, had to. I don't understand had to. Well, if a person can't on other persons to feel close and, you know, share a little friendship, then, then what's the point of being alive? Have you felt cut off from people for a long time, Charlie? Yeah, I guess so. People are no good, and they need to be taught a lesson. I think you teach them by shooting them? Seems to me you could find a better way of communicating besides bullets. Have you ever tried talking to them? They won't talk to me. Well, maybe you haven't approached it in the right way. I mean, we can try it together. I'll help you. You mean that? You'd help me? Sure. Okay. There was this girl once. We had a lot of fun together. We were happy. We were so close, close. We did everything together. We had a special place, a cliff at the beach. I loved you, Dr. Lincoln. She told me she loved me, but she lied. She was insincere. She wouldn't marry me. She left me and I was alone again. I hate being alone. Dr. Lincoln, I want you to understand me. She hurt me. She hurt me bad. And that's when I decided that some people have to be punished. They have to be taught a lesson. That's why I uh, beat Sheila up when she said she didn't want to see me anymore. Now she's gone. And I'm so lost without her, without friends.
trusted you and you lied! No, Charlie, liar! I swear! Liar! Liar! Why, Tom? Why? He was ready to come with me. Why did you have to come? We agreed. Get more men. Surround the place. The gates. Cover the gates. Matt, our suspect was a phony. Charlie is the sniper. Liar! I'll get even with you with all of you. You'll see in the morning. You'll see. Liar! 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 Tommy's gone. Next time, he'll be shooting to kill. Come in. Matt. Visiting hours are over. Don't you know it's 2 a.m.? Don't you? Come on. It's time for growing doctors to be in bed. Why don't you take your own medicine? <laughs> Frankly, I've never been able to stomach it. Are you sitting up over things generally, or someone in specific? Someone very specific. A girl named Sheila. I'm walking a tightrope with her. She's in a dangerous frame of mind. I could lose her. Well, your record of success is very high. What are you worried about? She's drifting. What are you asking of her? You know, that she face herself. If I can just get her to face facts squarely and take a hold of life again, the chance of recovery are good. What's her problem? Guilt. She wants desperately to be forgiven for having a baby. Who does she want forgiveness from? A very tough antagonist. Herself. I could be asking too much. She may not be strong enough to cope. Well, what's your alternative? Give in to what she wants. Solve her problems. Tell her what to do. Give her a strong arm to cling to. I've seen you give that strong arm many times. Yes, and if I give it, it might make a cripple of her. What happens the next time she has a problem? I won't always be around. There's your answer. There's my answer. Which brings me face to face the possible consequences. Which are? She may be suicidal. There was a girl once. That time I thought Charlie was my biggest problem. I loved her, but she wouldn't marry me. She left me and I was alone again. I beat Sheila up when she said she didn't want to see me anymore. I beat Sheila up. You lied! Charlie was my biggest problem. Sheila? Thank you.